Nikon's new firmware update for the Z series, it came with it a very interesting uh, new feature called voice memos. The implications of using voice memos is actually a really great idea. I don't know how many times you're out in the field and maybe you took your filter off or maybe you're using a special filter. You take the picture and you take hundreds of pictures while you're out there. You get back to your studio, you're looking through them all and you can't remember exactly how you took this picture because when you apply a filter or conditions are different, it's not always recorded by the camera itself. And so this is where voice memos is really handy. And let me show you quickly how it works. The first part is just taking the picture. Pretty simple. After you've taken the picture, you can apply a memo to that file by first reviewing it. So you just hit the review here, then you press and hold your record button. This is a picture of the studio while I am filming the quick thoughts while drinking coffee. I'm done. And that's it. Now when I review this picture, it'll show a little microphone icon on the picture. I think the toughest part of using this new feature is getting that audio off the camera and somewhere like maybe back on your desktop in Lightroom or in Capture One. Now exporting that audio file is probably the most difficult part and it is something that you might want to preserve. Um, unfortunately, Adobe Lightroom as well as Capture Pro, they don't support that feature right now. But if you use Nikon's NX Studio program and or their Transfer Utility program, you actually can bring in and import those two files together from your camera to your desktop. One of the nice things that it, Nikon does do is that the file names are named the same. So if you have a DSC 0361.net file, you're also going to have the same file name, just a .wav file. So that's kind of how you can keep them together if you want. Again, Lightroom nor Capture One actually read this file, so it is possible to include this file in the same directory or folder as your NEF file, and it won't affect those two programs at all. So let's take a look at it on the desktop side here on how it works. Okay, so the first way to do this and the way that I personally prefer is to use the Nikon Transfer Utility 2 application. Uh, that way I can import uh, the picture and the audio file into the same directory which I will then import that folder into Capture One Pro. So pretty much the first step is you need to take out your CF card or your media if it's CF Express use that and then put it into your card reader and put it into your machine here and so I'm going to pull up Nikon Transfer App 2 and then it takes usually takes a minute or two for it to discover all the attached storage media and then from there I'm gonna go ahead and just select Nikon Z6 so I'll just check that box which is by default checked next tab which would be primary destination I'm gonna go ahead and change this really quickly and I'm going to create a folder called demo and I will save it inside a folder on my desktop just for this demo. But you could easily just import this directly into the folder which you plan to sync your Adobe Lightroom or Capture One Pro with. Voila, it is complete. And now you'll notice inside the folder I have two files. I've got my DSC676 NEF file and my DSC676 WAV file. And so now we can actually right click on that and... This is a picture of the studio while I am filming the quick thoughts while drinking coffee. And that's it. So that's all it is. It's a simple wave file. And now we can go ahead and import both of these files into, say, Capture One Pro or Lightroom. And again, it won't also include the wave file. But at least you can store the two files in the same place. You just have to remember that when you're looking for it, you need to actually browse through your file explorer in order to locate it. So now let's uh, quickly take a look at NX Studio. Once NX Studio loads, I'm just going to come down here where it says Nikon Z6 II, which is my memory card, and just drill down into the news, right click on the picture, and select Voice Memo Play. This is a picture of the studio while I am filming. And it plays. Quick. 
And from here, you can also import it. But really, in all honesty, at this point, what um, NX Studio does is it launches what we just did and re-imports it into where you want to put it. So um, this basically would only be a solution if you just want to review the pictures and listen to the audio, but not really maybe save it uh, or import it. Because in that case, you just might as well use the Nikon Transfer 2 utility and just do it all at once. So that's a quick demo on Nikon's new voice memo feature that was released in the last firmware update. I hope you found it useful, and please post in some comments below how you might use it yourself. And I also want to say thank you and cheers to everybody that has subscribed to this channel. I finally reached the 100 subscriber milestone, which means I now have a custom URL at youtube.com slash c slash jmgalleriesusa. So again, thank you guys. I appreciate that. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Please don't forget if you haven't, like and subscribe below, and join me for the next cut.